I built 50 different microsites that are 100% AI powered. That's the best part, right? I write none of the copy for these websites. And these microsites, they rank on Google. Google just keeps on sending them organic leads every single day. And the crazy part, the best part to me is that these websites cost less than $10 to build. So imagine building a website for less than $10 and you can outrank local competitors. It's, it's crazy and that's why we build 50 of them. It doesn't cost that much money and they're effective. Yet here's the problem. Most people, they burn months of time and they burn thousands of dollars chasing keywords that never rank. And you end up on page five of Google, you're buried, you're never gonna get leads that way. So in this video, I'll share with you my biggest wins with microsites. I'm gonna share with you the repeatable patterns that drive them. And I'm gonna give you the exact framework I use to pick winners before I build. Now we're gonna move fast in this video. So 100% AI microsites are crushing Google right now. What does that actually mean, right? 100% AI microsites, and this is what it means. A microsite, in my definition, is a website that takes hardly any time or effort to build, right? Very, very small effort. There's different definitions of micro, right? You may say that's a one-page website to me. Our microsites are 50 pagers, but the cool part is it hardly takes any time or effort or money to build them, and they are absolutely crushing on Google right now because why? We attack local business local business. If you type into Google, a service plus a location, a local business, it could be a lawyer, a doctor, a plumber, an electrician. That's how we rank AI microsites. Now in this video, I want to go over our biggest wins so far. We've learned a lot and we've had pretty big wins. I think in the beginning of this video, I kind of flashed this lead that came in and this is our system. If you want to learn the system, check this out. Come over to the Rank Expand Academy. You'll learn the exact system. You see this build your microsite empire, new module now live. You will have the exact same system, how we scale out to 50 without any issues at all, right? You can have that. But the point is this, through this process of 50 different websites, we have some big wins, right? So we're going to go over that. Um, we're going to go over themes that keep repeating itself. There are certain things that surprised me when I started off right? And then it kept happening. So we're going to go over that and you'll learn from that so you can build better off the bat. And then how to pick winners before you build, right? How do you pick a good niche? How do you choose which vertical or niche to attack before you build? Okay, so let's talk about the biggest wins so far. And if you don't know what a microsite is, I have a bunch of videos on this YouTube channel, right? You can come over here to my channel and you'll see most videos right now are on microsites because it's super popular. It works really well. Right, but what is a microsite? It's just a website that you build and then it ranks on Google and then you get people calling into the website looking for help with a service, right? Think of a plumbing website. People are looking for emergency plumbing. That would be a good niche, right? So the biggest wins as we made these, and remember we sell these leads to local contractors is number one, big lead value. So one of the leads that came in and I did a video on this one was a $1 million RFP, right? An RFP is a request for proposal and it was an industrial job. Right. I don't think I said that in the other video, but it was an industrial job, big job. Right. And it came through a $10 microsite. It's ridiculous. But, you know, big lead value is great for the people we sell it to. Right. So I sold that lead to a local business who then will take that lead and hopefully sell that work. That's great for them, but we still charge the same flat fee. Right. It's like 150 bucks to 200 for them. Now, what I'm more excited about are the websites that are constantly giving us leads. That's where everything separates, right? Once you have a website, a microsite that keeps giving you leads, that's exciting because it means that you're dominating a very localized market and you can learn from it and you can emulate that, that specific website. So my question to you is, which would you rather have? And I think the answer varies upon who you are. So let's think about this. If I was a business, right, and I built microsites for myself, I just care about big lead value. You know, if a million dollar job came in and I had 30% GP gross profit margins, that's a lot of money. Like that would pay for thousands of microsites, right? And I could just dominate the whole nation type of thing. So big lead value equals great if you are the local business, but for people like me who want to just sell them as a lead generation device, I need constant leads. Now onto themes that repeat. So because we've built 50 different microsites and watched what works, this is very, very important. Check this out. This was super surprising to me. So for service keywords in a roofing niche, let's say you had a roofing website. In other words, you want to sell leads to roofing companies, which is a great niche, a hyper competitive niche though, but you can make a lot of money if you're successful. Today, I just had a couple of these roofing leads come in and this is what I learned, right? 
So number one, roof repair to roof replacement. What am I showing you here? Emergency roof services, new roof installation. Each one of these are specific keywords that a consumer might type into Google. And the weird part is, and I'm telling you, it surprised me when I figured this out, is that if you build your website correctly, Google will reward these little weird keywords, right? So in a page, a service location page, if I inject all of these keywords, as many as possible that are relevant to the primary keyword, right? Let's say I have a roof repair page. Let's say I have a roof repair page in Huntsville, Alabama, right? If I can inject roof replacement in there too, and we also do emergency roof services, et cetera, et cetera, I'm cross-pollinating keywords. And the cool part is you're going to find that Google rewards you. And if you can figure out how to get inside of those like cracks, I would consider that a crack in terms of keyword research, right? Most people will just go after the mega roof repair, right? Or the mega roof replacement. But we often get leads by finding the cracks. How we build the websites are so particular that we inject so many keywords without keyword stuffing that we rank for really weird and very specific keywords. Now pay close attention to this, how to pick your winners before you build. In other words, if you're going to do this and you're excited about it, I encourage you to build a microsite right now. Some of the first ones I did were WordPress websites. WordPress does really well. It doesn't scale well, but they rank well, right? If you know what you're doing, just go out and build a microsite. But here's what you need to know before you do it. So number one, low ticket services equals no money. If you're going to sell someone on a low ticket item, right? You call a low ticket type of industry up. There's no money there. There's no meat on the bone. Don't waste your time. Do a high ticket item. Oversaturated niches equals low chance. So I would call that a red ocean, right? Google the niche and the location and see what your competition is. See how many ads there are. See if there's a map pack. See what organic SERPs are like. And then people, a lot of people ask about this. Listen, if it's no local intent, it equals low leads. Yes, you can do, you know, different things with microsites if you have EMDs. An exact match domain can do really well with e-com. It can do really well with a lot of things. But compared to local intent, it's, it's no comparison. So what I want is high ticket, I want undersaturated, and I want local intent. Now, I work only in the U.S. for microsites. And when you consider the population base and the amount of land in the U.S., right, the amount of cities and suburbs and neighborhoods, the opportunity is, is, is right now endless. This is an untapped situation. Not many people are doing this, right? And listen, like I said before, if you're excited, build yourself a microsite. You know, watch the videos on this channel, use WordPress, it's easy. But if you want to scale and you want to learn how to really do it how we do it, there's a little sneak peek into, you know, our system. Module number nine is scaling microsystems. It's three plus hours of modules. Are you going to have to learn a new skill? Absolutely. Is this going to push you out of your comfort zone? Absolutely. But once you figure this out, you're going to unlock way more potential.